everybody, this is Charles at Music Messe 2012, Frankfurt, Germany. I'm with John, and we're at the Carlsboro stage, I guess. And uh, we're checking out a very special amp that Carlsboro's got here. Carlsboro's been around for a long time, and uh, this amp has some heritage all its own. You want to tell us a bit about that, John? Yeah, uh, 2004, Bill Nelson of Bebop Deluxe contacted us and said, look, I've been sitting in a green room waiting to go on television. I've got a great idea for amp design. So I said, send it through. We'll check it out. He sent me the first design that he's, he actually drew in this green room, which is... He must have seen an alien that night. <laughs> I, I think... Um, I then asked him what he was drinking. <laughs> Probably loads of JD and Coke. Bill is a very creative fellow, if you all don't know. But I said, got the design, and I said, Bill, it looks great. It looks vintage, retro, you name it, it's great. But you've got to come up and check out our new 50 Top Evolution. He came up to Carlsborough, at that time we were just outside of Nottingham, land of Robin Hood. And basically, he checked out the amp. He said, fantastic. Can you put it in my design? So I said, yeah, not a problem. He said, well, I brought up my second design of how I would want the amp to look like. This came from a man who knows what he wants very clearly here. Bill's one of the really killer, underrated players of the British scene in the 70s, by the way. He's, um, if you check out Bill Nelson now, I mean, he still tours. His back catalog is sought after, you know. If you all haven't heard Axe Victim, get hip. It's the best. Now, what happened here, though? This is, it became reality, it seems. It became reality. Um, we only manufactured two, one for Bill, and one for us and the original theme was to produce a limited edition of 500 and the profits were going to go in for a musician's charity unfortunately it didn't progress any further because the company changed hands and we moved on but within the last six months the idea has resurfaced for good reason it looks good huh well, you know, it, it, if I can explain the comment that came from our, our big boss, it looks old. And you said, you're missing the point. This is what guys want. They want to have something different, but at the same time, it's got to sound great. And we know we've got a great rock and roll guitar stack. Basically designed by both Bill and Carlsborough. So what do we have here in terms of an amplifier? It's, what are we looking at? You've got a 50 watt head, two gain levels, three band EQ, and a, something that we picked up from guitarists. He plays rhythm, but wants to go into a lead break. Most guitarists will roll the volumes, but what they would like was to have two master volumes so they could switch, foot switch between two. Brilliant, simple idea, so we incorporated that. But to say you've got basically a 50 watt true valve head with a British rock and roll sound and it's, the sound is projected through a four by 12 Celestian loaded cabinet. Again, the design of the cosmetics is Bill. Um, but we, we produce two, and so the idea has resurfaced, and they will be in production. Well, should we have a listen to this thing? Yeah. All right. There you go. Have a bash.
What channel was that? That's on the drive channel with extra gain boost um, on the second volume setting. So if you wanted it back on to clean. All right, let's hear a bit of that then. Cool, pretty snappy. All right, so this can do a lot of things then, huh? Well, that's what we're here for, rock and roll. Well, you all heard it here first. Carlsboro's back and they're bad and looking good as well. John, thanks very much. No, it's a pleasure. Cheers. Thank you. Nice killer lights, by the way. This is Charles signing off under the lights from Music Mesa 2012, Frankfurt, Germany, for Premier Guitar. <laughs>